Hi, today I wanted to show you around my new vivarium. The synthetic environment provides food and shelter for its inhabitants. The first inhabitant being this house cricket. I named him Timmy. Timmy is kind of ugly, but that's okay. He wanders the forest floor in search of his homies, foods, and a new crib, dog. He does not realize that most of his colony has already been hunted down by one of his many natural predators. The Gray Tree Frog. Though sporting a voracious appetite, the gray tree frog conserves energy by ambushing its prey. That's just fancy talk for it. They're too lazy to find food. They use their superb camouflage to hide themselves from not only predators, but also prey and their new girlfriend's husband when he comes home from work early. That was a long night, wasn't it, Fred? Timmy continues to explore his new environment. You can tell he's captive, Red, because he no longer has a desire to hide. I know, crickets are pretty stupid. The only thing dumber than a cricket is a June bug, which will not be featured in this documentary because they were too stupid and all got eaten. The gray tree frog senses his Uber Eats approaching and gets into position. Now he anxiously awaits in anticipation for when the delivery driver arrives and he has to make eye contact with them. He just ordered McDonald's for delivery for the third time this week. How sad is that? And he knows that the driver knows how pathetic it is. He will eat his McDonald's, dissociate in the shower for an hour, and then cry himself to sleep after watching 45 minutes of vine compilations. The frog lunges at the cricket, attempting to crush it with his tongue. A failed attempt. I guess you don't need to hide when you've got ninja bunny jumps. Uh, ninja, cr ninja cricket jumps. <laughs> stupid, stupid cricket. With the cricket being out of sight of the frog, he will live to see another day, or uh, at least another 15 minutes. Don't worry, the frogs will get him eventually. They have to. I only know how to care for frogs, I can't raise crickets. Thank you for joining me today in my vivarium. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, really, I don't care if you enjoyed it or not. I had fun making it.